Can Ragnar go Leandri's or Rylai's because of his ult? No, please don't troll your team. What makes Titanic so much better than Revenus on Renekton? His W procs on hits, so it does, like, math it out. So Ravenous Hydra adds 80 damage. You and me? We got this. W has 2.25 AD ratio. That's 180 damage. So Ravenous Hydra adds 180 damage. Now, Titanic Hydra has uh, 40 damage, so it adds 90 damage. Plus 40, plus 40, plus 40. And that's early in the game. By mid-game, let's say you have... I mean, how much, how much health are you going to have during your ult? Let's say 3,000 HP at mid-game. 3,000 HP is 50 damage. Oh, actually, it'll be 240. Later in the game, if you have 4,000 HP, it'll do that much damage. Plus the on hit active murders people mercilessly. Plus you have Sterex Gauge, and it feeds into Sterex Gauge. So between getting a lot of HP from your ult and going into a Sterex build and your W multi-hitting, yeah, it's pretty good. Would maxing W second be good on Renekton with Titanic? No, no it would not. Um, going Poke Runes as Malphite is generally a safe-ish bet, but not great. The problem is that he's trying to uh, lane control, and that's not always going to be possible. That's worth it. I get first blood, he loses minions and shit. He has to TP back in, I don't. We both blow flash. Easy peasy. He did not seem to understand what I was trying to do there. Dude, Malphite nearly killed me there. What the fuck? That dude does so much damage. Well, I expected my Rage Q to give me a little bit more HP. He nearly killed me through it, and that mm, I was like, oh, fuck. I was kind of just like, wait. Well, technically, he did save Malphite's life. How did that not work? One of the two we should do it. Right, wait, wait, black shield, I can just walk through that. The question is, do I think I can kill Malphite? Probably not. Even with Blade of the Run King, I kinda doubt it. It should, even with Blade of the Run King, do you think I'm gonna kill Malphite? Jesus Christ. I'd like my sterics to proc. <laughs> That'd be cool. Did I just like out level him so hard that he can't even proc it anymore? It's kind of funny in a sad way. Did you just do Blade of the King? No. 
If I do Blade of the King, I'm kind of pushing myself into only one build. Or I should say playstyle. There we go. We don't have vision on anyone, be careful. Just auto, just hit him with right click. Why do you guys like? Why do you guys want Blade Runner King so badly? Like, okay, I could beat down Malphite better, I guess. But what about literally everything else? I mean, I'll delete them right now, instantly. Like, that's the thing, I have enough damage right now that if I got on them, they would just be instantly dead. Yeah, kinda like that. Kind of something like that, Twitche. Kind of something like that would happen. You and me, we got this. Yeah, I don't think you guys realize how Titanic Hydra change really benefited Renekton. His core build got way better. And what about Thornmill or Dead Man's Blade? So, currently, the build with Renekton, as you just saw, is you go Sterex and Titanic and Black Cleaver. You don't care about defenses and you just use the giant shield from Sterex Cage and your overall healing and your burst to basically instantly wipe an opponent out. Like you saw me wipe out Jin there. I just use my giant shield and my overall tankiness. So the thing is generally, some people slot in Guardian Angel, some people slot in Spirit Visage. I'm sure next patch, Death Dance is gonna be more popular. Death Dance always has good synergy with Sterex Gauge because you get a lot of bleed, then you put that bleed number onto your Sterex Gauge shield, which either A, helps pop it more so that you can get the full amount of the shield, or B, let's say you get burst so hard they break your Sterex anyway, then it just helps you keep alive and do more damage. Well, I mean, if you look at Renekton, maxing his W adds 80 damage, big whoop, whereas maxing his E adds a lot more, and his E when maxed out is pretty deadly. And, um, and this is kind of important, his E when maxed out gives you this option to go with armor reduction. And as you saw with Malphite earlier, there are times when you actually want to use that armor reduction. I've seen Romanium Rushing Revenus. That's great, Noel. You know, neat. Good for him, buddy. Doesn't Death Stance make procking Sterex slower because it's damage over time you and not me? instant? We got this! Generally speaking, your Sterex is gonna proc no matter what. If you haven't built defenses, if you've gone Titanic, Black Cleaver, and Sterex, your Sterex gauge is gonna pop. I was like legitimately surprised that Malphite didn't manage to pop it. Like, that was somewhat crazy, actually, that he couldn't pop it. Why not one extra attack speed in small room for Renekton? Renekton doesn't really care about attack speed. You like, it's me? decent. We got this! Attack speed isn't a shit oh. stat on him, but it's like Aatrox. It's not really that important, and you'd probably prefer your base combo to be better. Plus, and this is actually important, attack speed on Aatrox isn't terrible. It's not good, you don't want to itemize for it, but it's not terrible to get in your runes, because it speeds up your attack animations, which lets you uh, go into your attacks, or your Qs faster, and Aatrox seems to have drastically increased um, attack animations under attack speed. The thing about Renekton, though, his W is the same animation time no matter what. So, you build more attack speed, Aatrox animates his attacks, his auto attacks, and his passive hit faster. You build attack speed on Renekton, it doesn't. His Q, same time. His W, same time. His E, same time. His ult, same time. Has no effect. You can be hit by Malphite E, and your W will still be the same speed. No, I think Sterex was proccing just fine that game to its shit. I think, I think Malphite actually was just so far behind he couldn't pop it. I'm 
pretty sure that's what was happening there. <laughs> 